Hey guys, it's DJ. We're here in downtown Red Bank. We are going to ask some questions to the local residents today. Things they love about Red Bank, things they're not such a big fan of, and things they think are missing. So let's go meet some people. I'm actually I'm not running for anything. I'm a real estate agent, but we're, we're trying to talk to local residents. We got some questions what you love about Red Bank. Come on. She's from Italy. How are you? So I can't answer you in Italian, right? <laughs> you, yeah, it's going to be a very short conversation. <laughs> I'm, a real, I'm a real estate agent. We're just asking people in town what they like about town, what they don't like about town. This is the guy that's running for governor out here. I'll vote for you. You will. All right, so. We are here today, we're going to talk to some residents of Monmouth County, ask them what they love about Red Bank, what they don't love about Red Bank. So, who do I have here? What's your name? Pete Canestro. Pete? Anne Marie Canestro. Vera Capone. She says it right here. Yeah, <laughs> Gaetano Al Capone. Al Capone. We've got the real deal Al Capone yeah, we have Al Capone. Okay, so do you guys live in Red Bank or where do you live? Go ahead, Amory. Jackson, New Jersey. Live in Jackson. Okay, so Jackson's nearby. It's only about 30 minutes from here. Yeah. Jackson. Jackson as well. So, what we're hoping to find out today is things that you love. Like, you're obviously here in Red Bank. There must be some reason why you're here. So, what drew you to Red Bank today? Food. 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 <laughs> food. food. The restaurant. Okay, so where did you go? What's your favorite place? Patrizia's. Patrizia's. Yeah. Is that your haunt? Patricia's. That's your. We're putting you on TV. Grilled octopus, the best. The grilled octopus oh, is the best. best. Yeah. All right, what was your name? Megan. Megan, where do you live? Atlantic Islands. Cool. Now, how long have you lived in Monmouth County? Mm, since 2012. Okay. What draws you to Red Bank? Alpha it, it, Fit Club. Ooh, you got two local businesses <laughs> you're supporting. Brand new place. So what do you think about it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's great. Is you that, should come check it out. I've been invited First twice First class now. free. First class. Do you run the place? No, but I work the ops team. But they have you as uh, an ambassador now that you're... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who do we have here? Uh, Greg Jacobson. Greg, nice to meet you. Do you live in Red Bank? I do not, but I uh, have lived in the surrounding area most of my life. Um, so we're, we're talking about Red Bank, things people love, don't love, things they wish were here. So what's your favorite thing about Red Bank? One of my favorite things about Red Bank is uh, there's a butcher shop on Monmouth, Monmouth Street, right? Monmouth Street? Yeah. Uh, Stu is his name. It's Monmouth Meats. Uh, just a real fun experience when I go in there. Do you go in there to get your meat all the time, or is it a special occasion, like when you're looking for Christmas or Thanksgiving or something? It started off that way, and now it's, you know, a couple times a month. <laughs> That's good, that means Stu's doing all right. All right, what's your name? Ashlyn Estevez. Very cool name, Ashlyn you said, right? Yeah. Do you live in Red Bank? I do. Ooh, our first person who actually lives in Red Bank. How long have you lived in Red Bank? Uh, five years now. Cool. What do you actually love most about Red Bank? Um, I love the culture and I love the downtown area. Um, definitely something unique, always. There's always art around, there's always people doing something. Where did you move here from? Uh, Florida. Wow, that's a big, big change. What part of Florida? Like St. Augustine? Orlando. Okay, so that's really funny because we, one of the guys we're really close friends with in real estate, which is what we're doing the video for, is in Orlando. So you made the switch from there to here. Yeah, um, I do not do well in the heat, so I don't know why I was living there. <laughs> I'm here with Nancy, right? Yes. So Nancy's here from what part of New Jersey? Uh, exit 138, Kenilworth, New Jersey. Okay, so you're not a resident of Red Bank. I am not. But you're here today for some reason. Yes, to go to Surf Taco. Wow, and I can't get over how lovely it is. It reminds me of, actually it kind of reminds me of the little bit of the Hamptons. It does. Yeah. So what a lot of people love about Red Bank is that small town feel. You've got the train station, mm -hmm. you've got all the restaurants. Is this your first time at Red Bank? Yes. It is? Yes. I mean, I've passed by it all my life but I've never been in the town itself. Okay, so we've got a newbie here. It's your first time in Red Bank. You came down for Surf Taco. Did you go anyplace else? Yes, we went to the chocolate store, <laughs> and it was lovely. So what's your favorite thing about Red Bank from the limited amount that you've been here and seen? Well, it's just a very quiet, and it's such a gorgeous day to come here and sit outside, enjoy the sunshine, and have a meal. And um, it's it, beautiful it, for all it's that. It's beautiful. I took a, a photograph of the firehouse. It's, it's charming. It it's is. A it's charming like going town. back 100 plus years and oh, having I all that nostalgia. That far, but it's absolutely charming, and I would definitely come here again. All right. What's your name? Carl. Carl, nice. Nice to meet you. So, we're asking some people things about Red Bank today what they like, what they don't like. So, what's some, first off, do you live in Red Bank? 
No, I live up the street in Holmdale. Very nice. Our business is actually located in Holmdale. So what brings you to Red Bank today? Stopped in to see one of the local stores. Which one? Red Ginger Home. Cool. Are you looking for something for your house or what's the specific reason? Well, we're doing some decorating and, and he's very good at that. Cool. Red Bank. What do you hate about Red Bank? Who wants to take this one? Nothing. We don't know that much. Nothing. We don't know that much. When we get the tab. <laughs> when we get the, we get the, the tab. When somebody we pays it. Well, maybe because we got Patricia's on video here, maybe they'll give you a free dinner. Oh, yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> right now. She wants to go back right now. <laughs> That'd be nice. All right. We so just celebrated our birthdays today. Her birthday. And the same birthday. day, the same May, age. Same, same day, 9 12 42. Okay. 9 12. <laughs> you gotta leave the year out. You're just supposed to say the, the day and the month. We now, was there any wine flowing at lunch? Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. There was two bottles flowing. Okay, what type of wine? Uh, there's the wine connoisseur right there. Al Capone? Al Capone. Uh, I, have a lo I have a lot of wines in my uh, cellar. Okay. And uh, I really enjoy wine, and, and I usually try to get the best. How about something that you don't like about Red Bank that's here? Um, it's not really applicable now, but in the, in the past, the tra traffic was a problem and parking was a problem. But uh, since I've moved back in uh, in June, uh, you know, the White Street parking lot is usually half full. Um, you know, the, the broad, broad Street has been blocked off for, for, I guess, dining. So the traffic really isn't all that bad. It's very easy to get in and out. And, um, you know, so that was the thing in the past, but it's not really that applicable now. For sure. And we were talking about the Broadwalk and how nice it is to actually have that, you know, COVID sort of created, I guess, but to have that as an opportunity for people to walk around, not worry about cars. Have you had a chance to really take advantage of it? Yeah. I, you know, I, I, on my way home every night, I usually, uh, I, wa I walk through it with all the, the diners and everyone having a good time. And it's like, it's like being in a quad at, at college. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're going to pause for a second. <laughs> all right. So... On that note, what is something about Red Bank that you really don't like? Um, I wish there was definitely a skate park in Red Bank. That's something that's definitely lacking. I see a lot of kids around here trying to find new places to skate and owners getting annoyed that they're, you know, skating on the curbs and everything, but that could all be prevented with a skate park, something like that. Do you skate yourself? I do. So where's the closest skate park that you go to, the 107 President's Park? Um, there's the, that one and there's the one in Atlantic Highlands. Very cool. I think that's actually a really great idea. Plus you've got the two parks down along the water that would make a pretty easy spot to be able to put it. Um, so what's something that you don't like about Red Bank? Not necessarily that you would change or move, but something that's here, that's a problem that you would wish you could change about it or you, or you don't like? I think that uh, somehow the rents are too high and have chased out a lot of the cute little stores. Some of them have stayed, like Red Ginger Home is still here, but I know that there have been a few others and there are just too many empty stores around here that I think this is a prime place for people to come and somehow Red Bank has to figure that out. That's a really valid point because the number of businesses that turn over in here every single year is, I mean it's great because you get to see some new businesses, but it's, it's a shame when you see great local businesses that don't survive. That's right. I also think that uh, in the summertime, there ought to be some kind of free shuttle to take you from the downtown area over to, I guess it's the Galleria, over there by the Triumph Brewery and stuff like that, so that once you do find a parking space, you don't have to keep moving around. And I think that would help because on the other side, there's not a lot of drop-in traffic. There's not a lot of foot traffic, and that might help. I know they do it in some other cities, and I've seen it work real well. I think that's a great idea, especially as the west side of town starts to get built up a little bit more to have some sort of a connection here between Broad Street, Front Street, and over by the Galleria. There we go. That's my idea exactly. All right. So you guys heard it here first. Carl's the one who's responsible for that. We'll call it the Carl Shuttle. I think we can come up with something better than that. Okay. We'll work. We don't need to be named. Anything you would change about Red Bank? No. That's actually a good question to ask, I think, for somebody who hasn't been here all that much, was was it convenient to get to? Is there anything about the way the town is laid out or set up that you don't like? Mm -hmm. Well, we were going to the Long Branch branch of the Red Bank Bank. <laughs> okay. a corny joke from my father. But that's okay. You know, you're here, you enjoyed yourself, you got your tacos, you got your, uh, your chocolate, so it's all good, right? Yes. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming well. to Red Bank. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about buying, selling, or investing in real estate in New Jersey, give us a call.